Welcome back, everyone, to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 8, Episode 1 of A Game of Thrones, the board game, and we are playing Baratheon, the One True King episode. It is uh, Round 1. We just completed the setup round. We have to award our uh, Iron Throne goes to House Lannister. Here. Our... Um, Fiefdom Sword is going to go to Greyjoy, and I'll just place that here as well, because Greyjoy is in this row. And then our King's Court Raven is going to go to House Tyrell. So let's jump right into round number one. Before you do, a quick shout out to this channel's sponsor, Pontus Fathom Press. Go check out our bookstore link in the description where you can pick up the Cat 2 Journals out of Lovecraft's Providence by August Moldenhauer and Giuseppe Balsamo at all. A deep dive into the magic grimoire presentation of Moldenhauer and Balsamo's studies in Lovecraft as almost like a magical system. Uh, almost as a reality system. Go check it out. There's also uh, our Patreon. For as little as a dollar, you can read Genealogy of Cthulhu and stay uh, in support of our Song of Ice and Fire gameplay, miniature painting. We're working our way through Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. Uh, also doing miniature paintings for that. Joan of Arc. Uh, we're going to be doing a D&D &D campaign. Uh, the Thing, Infection at Outpost 31, Cthulhu, Death May Die. Uh, lots of other ones. Uh, we, we're also doing our miniature makeover series. You guys can go check that out. So let's jump right in to round number one. In the first round, we do not do a w Westeros phase. So we're going to advance the game marker to round one. Uh, we, will, uh, we will assign our orders, reveal the orders, and jump right into action. So let's start out with Baratheon. Again, our one true king. We'll start them out as first. I'm really going to be playing these guys most, uh, mostly here. So let's go ahead and give a, let's get a motion here. Um, we're going to leave this one as a, as a resource kind of idea. Uh, let's go ahead and You know, maybe we'll just go ahead and start making some uh, plans here for a motion. Just looking for a, a good one. And plan it like that. And we'll put one here as well. Okay, so we got Baratheon. Uh, let's just leave this one as here. Um, okay, so Baratheon set. Let's go to our other houses now. And we'll kind of go through these as well. Reveal our orders. And we will jump right into it. Uh, yeah, so in this one, uh, like I was mentioning in the setup round, we do have Stannis and Renly both in the Baratheon thing, but you know like it, how it was in Game of Thrones where where actually they were pitted against each other? I was kind of wishing that we could simulate that, but it doesn't look like that's really possible. Uh, I probably could, but we can't really move Renly to House Tyrell. This is where I like the, the way we can do that in our A Song of Ice and Fire gameplay uh, somewhat. So... I'm going to go to House Martell here. And we'll go to House Stark as well. Okay, so, and again, as you guys know, this is a multiplayer game. Uh, we're just sort of in a lightning round mode where we're sort of uh, just going to get through this first phase. Uh, just get things moving, get some action on the board, and then we can kind of play more strategically, trying to get Baratheon to win this one. But let's see if it's possible. Uh, we don't turn any Westeros cards over. We're going to go right into reveal phase. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead through all of these. And you'll see my strategy soon enough. 
and some lacks of strategy in some places. Okay, we got some raids coming up. Uh, we've got some raids here as well. And that's just about gonna do it. So let's go ahead and hit our raids first. First, we've got Shipbreaker Bay raiding. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll do that against, let's stop the storm's end here. So we'll clear that one. Uh, we also have these Lannister we have this raid clearing these two out. An attack here. This raid, no, no effect. This raid can affect this one. This raid has no effect. So raids are cleared out. And we'll go clean those up in the next round. So now let's get into our resolve uh, march orders and combat. So we're going to start out with uh, Lannister. Lannister is going to go ahead and march on, let's see, they can march, let's have them march from River Run up to Sea Guard, and they're going to kind of go on, on the offensive with, um, with uh, House Stark. Uh, we're also going to drop one of our tokens that we have here in River Run because we left River Run behind, but we're going to kind of go with that. So we've got our first combat already. Let's go have Lannister attacking um, a Stark. So we're going to go into the pools here, see who comes out in each of these battles. So we're going to have four versus four, and it looks like we've got, wow, this is a huge one already. Tywin Lannister versus Eddard Stark, just like in the beginning, right? If you win this combat, gain two power tokens. Eddard Stark has two swords. Uh, so we do have a plus one here. So it's five, six, four, five, six, seven, versus four, five, six. Ned Stark um, pushed back, and I guess we can push him back to, push them back to the fingers. And we can go ahead and take the twins uh, like this. We also gain two power tokens. So get two power tokens for that. And that's going to wrap up our first combat. Uh, let's go around and see who else we can engage here in combat. Um, there is... Let's have um, Pike... They are Greyjoys. Greyjoys versus Lannister. Let's see who comes out in this combat. So again, we have one ship versus one ship. Uh, we've got Aaron Dampfar versus Sir Jamie Lannister. So it's going to be a defeat for them, and they will just be pushed back. Let's have them pushed back to the Sunset Sea. Here, so they've defeated there. Uh, Sir Jamie Lannister actually wins a sword, so they are actually their unit is destroyed. So Greyjoy suffers a loss there. Uh, raid party has taken these. Let's see if anyone else has a... This raid is taken. Let's have um, House Lannister once again from King's Landing attacking the King's Wood where the House Tyrell is. So we're going to from Lannister to Tyrell, uh, it's three with Mace Tyrell versus Cersei Lancer. If you win this combat, you remove one of the long opponents. Immediately destroy one of your opponents attacking or defending footman units. Whoa. So it looks like we uh, lose one of our units 
here. Oh, we are here fighting this one. Okay, so we lose a unit and that is going to mean we're defeated here. If you win this combat, you move if order tokens from anywhere on the board. So we have to move out of King's Landing, I guess to the Blackwater, right? So we've been defeated into the Blackwater. Not good for Cersei versus Mace Tyrell. So it was kind of a clown in the show, right? Uh, next up, let's have River Run versus uh, the Boneway. River Run, ver the Reach versus the Reach versus the Boneway. Tyrell versus Martell. Tyrell, Tyrell versus Martell. One and one, plus one. So it's two. Uh, oh, and they've got the Red Viper. So actually, House Tyrell gets has to retreat. Red Viper destroys them, actually. So they are actually removed from the game. Uh, that's the Red Viper and Florent. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and move our Baratheon ship here. And I'm going to move this down to here from the King's Wall. And I'm also going to move these all down to here. We will leave a token for us in the Night's Watch, but no attacks this round. And I think that's going to do it for the combats. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll clean up the board. And we will assign some... Um, we'll go ahead and consolidate power as well. So we can consolidate power and get... Uh, um, can clean that up. I will set those up in the next... Uh, before the next turn. So we'll go through, I'll clean up the consolidate powers, I'll give everyone our tokens, and we'll advance us to round number two. We'll see you in round two. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.